Today on Mormon Times, a day we celebrate and honor mothers. I think that's what all moms want. They, they don't really care about the material stuff. They care about what you think. From sports great Jimmer Fredette to adorable primary children in Alpine, we share why motherhood matters. They teach you and make you so you're not starving. And learning strength and courage from a mother who instilled hope through a lifetime of trials. And I've often said that no one should ever underestimate a mother's love. Plus, an apostle's son shares thoughts about his mother and how to embrace the simple joys of a mom's life. Hillary Week shares her insights as well as a song from her new CD. Good morning and welcome to Mormon Times. I'm Kathy Aiken. On this Sabbath day, we honor our mothers, those who have loved us, nurtured us, and picked us up when we've let them down. So today we ask, why is your mother so special? And former BYU superstar Jimmer Fredette joins us now to tell us a little bit about his mother. Good morning, Jimmer. Good morning. You have had such an amazing career and especially this last season. As you look back, what's the, what's the greatest lesson you learned from your mother? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just to, she really taught me how to, to be a good person and stay humble all the time. Uh, people ask me that a lot. How do you, you know, deal with all the pressures and how you deal with, you know, all the media hype and everything around you and, and stay grounded. And, and that has to come with my from my mother. She's unbelievable at that. She's a great person. Um, she's always kept me, you know, where I should be. And uh, if I got out of line, she, she'd make sure that, you know, I was right Put, put, put back right in my place, so uh, she did a great job of that. I know as a mother, it's difficult to have a son go off to college. What was the best advice she gave you as you left home? Um, just to know that they're there for me. You know, anytime that I needed anything, um, I could call them up and ask them, and, and, and they were there. You know, any, it was tough going away from home so far away, not being able to see them, you know, for long periods of time. It was a lot different for me. Um, but just to know that they were there and they, they would help me out with anything that I needed help with and that was a, a great insurance for me. We saw your mom several times in the stands, especially during the NCAA tournament. She looked a bit nervous, but uh, did she teach you all you know? Uh, you know, she te she's taught me all I know, yeah, for sure. You know, uh, even with basketball, she would come down and, and she would rebound for me. You know, when people, you know, couldn't make it, she would shag balls and get it to me. And, she, you know, the one thing of advice she always tells me is to follow through um, when I'm shooting and, uh, you know, get that high arc on the shot. She's always telling me that whenever I miss a shot. That's what she says. Um, and, uh, you know, that's great advice. And she's definitely taught me everything. Uh, in your home, you, you grew up with the father who is a convert to the church, and your mother's Catholic, but I know she was very supportive of you when you decided to get baptized into the LDS church, correct? Yeah, definitely. Um, she, she lives the standards of an LDS person, and she actually goes to sacrament meeting most of the time, um, and she's, she's a great lady, but she, she wants her kids to decide for themselves whatever they want to do, um, and she's very supportive as long as they're you know, good people and, and treating people right and, and doing the correct things, then, you know, that's the main thing that she wants, regardless of the religion. I know you're getting uh, close to the NBA draft. It's coming up here near the end of June. The Jazz, I know lots of Jazz fans would love to see you stay here, but uh, the Knicks could use a point guard as well. Is your mom hoping you stay closer to home? Yeah, I think she wants me on one of those two teams, you know, and, and so do I. You know, that would be that would be great, ideal situations. Um, and, you know, we'll see what happens. You never know with the NBA draft, but, uh, you know, I think she would like it either way because she's been out here a lot. She likes it out here. Obviously, my sister lives out here with her grandchildren and uh, that, that live out here. So I think either spot would be good, good with her. Final question, Jimmer, what would your message be to your mother on Mother's Day? I just wanted to tell her I love her. I thank her very, very much for everything that she's done for me. Um, I couldn't be here in this position without her and without her support and all the things that she's done for me, uh, as well as the rest of my family. But, uh, you know, she means everything to me, so I appreciate it. Jim Fredette, thank you so much for stopping in today, and best of luck in the upcoming NBA draft. All right, great. Thanks thank for you. having me. Okay. Up next, several primary children from Alpine give us their plans for this Mother's Day. But first, General Young Women's President Sister Elaine Dalton shares what makes her mother so special. 
My mother is remarkable. She was widowed at the age of 45, but she just would not refuse to complain or get discouraged. And so she's been a remarkable role model for me. And she was always there. She was always in our home. She's, and she's my best friend.